Hi, this is Rick. Thanks for joining. This is the fifth Word 2007 tutorial. And today's topic is going to be working with templates. Should be a fairly brief, um, uh, brief uh, tutorial. Uh, I just want to share with you some a basic overview of, of how to work with templates and uh, how they can help you out. So the first thing I want to mention is that what a template is 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 essentially a um, a file. Um, template with all of your default settings that you're going to use the colors, the fonts, the um, size, the um, outline, uh, the margin settings, things of that nature. So, you know, what it, what's it look like? So, with that said, um, when you open Word, it automatically opens up something called the normal template, and that's what this is. And, and if you go in here, you notice like if you go to page layout. You go to margins. It's like the default top, you know, one inch, one inch all the way around. But there's lots of different options to choose from here and so forth. So this is for the default Word document. So what you can do here is go click on the Microsoft Office button, go to New, and you'll go into a file here. You'll go into a, a new window that um, gives you an option to open up templates. So you can click a blank document, which will open up the normal template. And Microsoft Word comes with this blog post as a as a default and then over here you have several options so there's installed templates that you can go to um, you know ha has um, a variety of um, options in here uh, and then you've got my templates which are templates that you save and we'll go back into that in a few minutes here and you can go over here and you can go down into these categories and these are ones that are out um, on the web that you can download right so if you if you know you want to go to a category for example if you wanted to create a calendar go here and create a 2011 calendar and you can choose whichever template you want to okay and then tweak it in whatever ways you want to but let's go over here and do check a few more things so let's go to forms and we'll go to legal forms and Let's see what we got here. Uh, we'll do this confirmation of terms agreement and then say if we like that one, we can download it. And there's your template right there. Okay, and then it's all set up and you know with this in this format with the uh, paragraph style and the headings and so forth. So let's assume that we wanted to use this one. So I would go here and say um, Save as, save it as a template, I go under templates, and then I would call it, I'll call it confirmation. Okay, and then I'm going to say okay here. There's an option um, if you, if you want to maintain compatibility. I'm just going to say okay and leave everything in Word 2007 format. Okay, so now let me close out of that and now I've saved it as a template. So now if I want to open up a template, I can go new and now I can go to my templates and there it is right there. Okay, and then I'd click OK and it would open. Likewise, I've gone in here and I have um, opened up numerous other or saved a couple other ones as tests. So I'll give you an example. Here's sales invoice and this is another template. Right, so you could come up here and you could save save this one, you know, put your company name, the invoice. Invoice would probably be better in Excel to auto calculate. Um, however, just to give you some ideas, there's ones out here for newsletters, for invoices, for um, form letters, for legal documents, calendars, you name it. So um, it's a handy way to you to you know to help you set up your files. Anyways, that's all I really had for you today. I appreciate you joining, and uh, please subscribe, and thanks. Take care.